the reality so i exist i exist i can observe it i can observe my activities so i am a consciousness unit and every unit has some activities and i can observe my activities so i am a reality similarly body is a unit so body has some activities and i can observe these activities so body is a unit i am a unit but i have a potential to observe that body doesn't so i have a potential to observe as a consciousness unit so i can observe my activities i can observe activities of body and and the and on the basis of this observation i can say that myself and body are two distinct realities with this in step 2 i am observing interaction between me and the body so basically in step 2 i am trying to see how interaction takes place between me and the body so with observation i can see that i can instruct my body and this instruction is in the form of information and i can read sensation happening in the body and this sensation is also an information so on the basis of this we can say that interaction between me and the body is only in the form of information interaction is not taking place in the form of physiochemical things so objective of step 2 is to see the interaction in the form of information so the objective of step 2 is to see that no physiochemical things being exchanged between me and the body only information is there right so i am giving instruction it is an information i am reading sensation so sensation is also an information then in step 3 we are observing who is decision maker so i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body i am the one who decides to read a specific sensation from the body right so i am the one who is deciding so i interact with the body as and when i require so i have a choice when to interact with the body so whenever i decide to interact with body so i interact with body similarly many sensations are taking place but i decide which one is to be read so if i decide i read it so it is my decision so body only acts according to the instruction that i give it and i use the body as per my decision so in step 3 the objective is to see the decision maker so body is not taking any decision so body is not taking any decision to instruct self it is me who decides to instruct to the body it is me who decides to read specific sensations from the body so this is what we are trying to see in step number 3 then in step number 4 i am observing distance between me and the body 
So when I am reading the sensation taking place in the body, I am observing that am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? So this I am trying to observe. And with observation, I can see that I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is a separation between me and the sensation. So there is a separation. That's why I have choice. Whether to interact with body or not. I have a choice to read any particular sensation or not. So objective of step 4 is to see a separation between me and the sensation. To see separation between self and the body. So this is the objective of step 4. Then in step 5, now I am observing sources of sensation. So there could be four possible sources. Number one, the effect of the behavior of the other. So if someone is speaking, someone is touching me, so his sound, his touch affect my body. And due to this touch, some sensations take place in the body. So this is one of the sources. So I am with other person. He is speaking. He is doing something. And due to that, there is a sensation in my body. Now I will decide to read it or not to read it. But this is one of the possible sources of the sensation. Similarly, in step, uh, second source is physiochemical changes. So suppose there is a heat outside, cold outside. Now this has an effect on the body. So due to this, there are sensations in the body. So this is another source. Similarly, third source could be some events are happening within the body. Suppose there is a pain, a rapid heartbeat, itching, etc. So due to that, there are sensations in the body. So this is third source. And fourth source could be due to my imagination in the self. So I am worried inside I am in tension inside. I have conflicting thoughts, conflicting feelings. Due to this, there are sensations in the body. So these four possible sources are written here. And these sources are having effect on the body in the form of sensation. Now I decide to read these sensation or not to read these sensations. So it is up to us. So I read only those sensations that I consider important. I read them only as and when I consider it necessary. But objective of step 5 is to see the sources of sensations. So we need to observe, we need to be aware that which source is creating sensation in my body. It is because of someone's behavior. It is because of some physiochemical changes. It is because of some events happening within the body or it is because of some imagination <clears throat> in the cell. <clears throat> so this we are trying to see in step 
5. So with this, now we can have few reflections on the assignment. Then we will move further. Yes. So we have... So we have Balji Reddy Bhaiya with us. Namaste Bhaiya. Namaskar Gopalji. Namaskar all others. So yesterday's uh, assignment, observe the various sensations in the body. Yes, I observed. Uh, notice uh, the sources which are leading to these uh, sensations. So number one, uh, effect of others' behavior uh, that I observed. The sounds uh, from outside and uh, the vision also, different pictures and all the sensations I observed. And the second source, outside physiochemical change, heat and cold that I observed and events in the body. Uh, due to this Diwali, is, there is some wound in my hand, that pain I observed, that sensation and uh, imagination in the self, uh, worries, anxieties, that also I observed. But peace, uh, when I was uh, in peace, I think the relative decrement in the uh, sensation, I, may, I, I can understand like that, that also I observed. So in this, uh, you gave the assignment, notice how you choose to read some of these uh, sensations from time to time. So whenever I feel important, uh, then I was observing. When you read a particular sensation, or you aware of uh, other sensations at the time you ask the question? And uh, no, when I read a particular sensation, I'm not aware of other sensations. So note down some of the observations and conclusions. Conclusions, <coughs> these are my observations. And uh, the conclusions, what I observed, um, I am whenever I want to read, I am reading. Uh, but what I observed, I am giving instruction in the form of uh, information at my will. Body, a physical entity, is also giving uh, uh, like self, even though it is a material unit is uh, giving information in the form of sensation. However, it is due to self-organization because it is a, not a consciousness unit, what I observed. So due to the self-organization, the miracle makes the body, uh, gives the uh, information, means what the sensation in the form of information. What I understood, it is not a consciousness unit. So suppose there is a wound in my body. It is to be healed. So how? It cannot uh, do by itself. But its self-organization makes it uh, uh, give the sensation. Thereby, the consciousness unit is able to heal it. What I have understood, I am telling. So that is the beauty of self-organization of the self as well as the body. Uh, suppose that instruction doesn't come in the form of a sensation. The initiative means that uh, instruction from the self will not be there to heal it. Suppose if there is no prana, I mean to say the life force, that sensation means what? It will lead to de decomposition only. But the self is there here in the body. It will cure it. So what I have understood. And uh, the second uh, inference, because at last, uh, note down some of your observations and conclusions. So the inference, what I have, the second inference, what I have observed, <coughs> I am the self, I am the consciousness unit. But suppose I see one sensation uh, through vision, the first point. There is a tree. But the second point says, I mean to say uh, in the exercise 2, um, 
I am different from that one. So, in that uh, uh, b- b- self and body uh, exercise, one point says, "I am not the sensation." Means what? Uh, the vision, the tree is there. That is true. My eyes sense it, and it gives the information in the form of sensation. But I learned from this uh, school of thought. I am not that sensation. Even though I am not that sensation, I, the self, is seeing that. Means, of what I have understood, the inference. I have the capability of seeing that without the help of uh, the eye. However, I am unable to identify it. That's what I have understood. The Baya kindly guide me. Many things you have shared in one sharing. <laughs> yes, right. Yes. So I I will address few of them. The rest we can discuss later. Thank you, Bhaiya. So first is that, yeah, as you said, body is giving information. Yes. So body is not giving information to the self. Some physiochemical activities are taking place in body. If I think it is important, I decide to read it. If I think it is not important, I don't decide to read it. So I can give instruction to the body in the form of information. But body cannot give me information. Body is a unit where physiochemical activities are taking place. Right. Now it is up to me whether to read those sensations or not. This is point one. Second is, as you said, whatever I think important, I choose first to read. So for example, you are your body is hurt because of some cracker now protection of my body is at my priority that's why i read that sensation very immediately and so now my whole focus shift towards that wound and many sensations are taking place at the same time but because protection is at my priority protection of body is my at priority that's why i address that sensation first i read that sensation first so many people may be talking at that time many sensation may be taking place at that time but i am not focusing on all those because what is important for me that time the importance is to protect my body so immediately my whole whole focus shifted to this cure the wound so this is right as you said that whatever i think important i focus on that sensations are taking place but i am addressing at that time you know? so it is important for me that's why i am focusing my attention so once it is once it is cleared now i will focus another on another sensation if it is important for me so this is <laughs> whole existence in this existence every unit is self organized and participating in larger order similarly in body 
each cell is self organized energized and participating in its larger order so each cell is working in coexistence so that's why body starts curing itself because the whole existence is working in coexistence so each cell starts working now if i am self organized means i am in harmony then i can complement this self regulation of the body so body is healing itself i can complement it with decision so i can have few medicine or any treatment so that it may heal itself so i can complement it so body is a self organized unit it is working in a self organized manner if i am self organized then two things will happen number 1 i will not create any obstacle in the process of body number 2 i will complement the whole process so that body can heal as soon as possible so with the self organization in me i can complement the body so these two or three points we yeah, have i have commented if you have any question on these points then we can discuss i know bhaiya thank you very much bhaiya right namaskar bhaiya namaste bhaiya namaste so we have pramod kumari ji with us namaste didi next second namaste bhaiya namaste to all the co explorers namaste didi Uh, at the time of dusk, when I sense the cold wind, I notice the coolness in the wind, but it was no more soothing. So uh, I just shut the door. Uh, while at campus, like it was a call uh, by the PA regarding a meeting. So I was wondering what it could be. So I become little anxious, and while approaching the office, I sensed some. palpitations for few seconds then i read that immediately and it subsided after a while uh once it happened that my hand started shivering because uh, like my younger son was demanding something from the elder one it was something uh, which was of no longer in use for him so the elder one denied so i requested him twice and thrice but he was adamant and the younger one started crying so it was a trigger for me i just hit the elder one with a book in my hand at the back and my hand started shivering so i was aware i read the sensation but was not comfortable with it so i uh, just observed it so uh, when somebody pats on the back sometimes uh, that sensation and i read that sensation uh, that it is something which is for contentment and regarding but we read the sensations uh, which one we read like sometimes it is i concluded if it is a sensation of pain hot and cold then it is responded primarily instead of sensation of hunger thirst and tiredness because uh, if it is a meeting and i have a sensation of hunger then i notice it i read it but i am not able to respond it if i am driving like i listen to the sensation uh, like the horns of other vehicles i sense but at the same time if it is a mosquito bite then i sense it while the other sensation but i hardly able to respond to it so uh, yeah i just noticed it in this way yes it is if it is salty so and spicy many process yeah ji if it is salty and like if you are having salty and spicy food the sensation is read immediately so some we read immediately some we just read that come to us that uh, self read by the self but are not responded and ignored so 
that is all from my side bhaiya yes yeah, so objective of this step 5 is to identify the sources of sensation yes right so as you shared that when you throw the book then you felt some shivering in the body yes yes yeah. now it is a point where we need to be aware what mm -hmm. is the source of senses yeah the kids behavior was there but uh, it was not responded accordingly or so kids had some behavior yeah. and it has impact on my body yes and i read that sensation so this is this was the first source yes we are due to which the sensation could take place yes we second are. is now i am disturbed inside yes and because i am disturbed inside and it is impacting my body yes so there is some anxiety worry contradiction in my imagination yes and it is impacting my body so this is type 4 source yes right and yes. due to this due to that due to that anger you can feel the increased heartbeat yes so now it is because of fourth source some problem is in my uh, self is in my imagination yes. and due to that there are sensation in the body yes right similarly when you take sweet or sour now it creates sensation in stomach yes we sometimes have. acidity sometimes yeah. soothing now it yes. is happening within the body yes some physiochemical changes has uh, are taking place and due to that there is a sensation yes yeah okay. and so objective if ji and the good example is that golgappa water sometimes we ask to add sweet to it and later on we might have that sometimes some sensations we feel the example we are of sweet and salty food so you eat it but body start uh, some physiochemical activities with this input yes sir and with that input some changes start taking place Yes, so we need to be aware of these sources. <clears throat> so if I am aware, then I can sort it out. Yes, so that we will learn in coming steps. Yes, But first thing is awareness. Yes. So if I am aware that shivering is taking place because of my anxiety, yes. now it is easy for me to handle myself because this is. because of anxiety in myself now i need to work on myself yes we are so with awareness we can find out the right way to handle this yes right yes so nice example didi okay we are thank you she had yeah. it very fast <laughs> yes we actually my son on is already awake so he is demanding okay. me something that's why thank you bhaiya ओके दीदी नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सो वी हैव वेंकट राव जी विद अस नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सबका फॉर इट क्लॉक अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सेल्फ इज वेरी टीडियस someone tell but how to overcome this one they again by understanding understanding the self mm -hmm. understanding the self is very tedious but how to overcome this one okay 
see how to overcome for Me that hmm. for that we are practicing this exercise one through seven steps so it is not so tedious it is a matter of decision so if i am aware of myself you know then we can handle its complexity so in step in exercise 1 we learn be aware evaluate ourselves find out the decision maker who is taking decision then we are trying to see our sanskar basis of sanskar and once i am focusing on relationship harmony and coexistence then my sanskar will be evaluating in the light of harmony coexistence and relationship so this process we are learning bhaiya for last few months so it may appear tedious because of lack of practicing lack of practice to observe myself generally we focus our attention outside so if we are practicing this awareness then problem can be solved yes, my sanskars can be aligned so that's we are learning from exercise 1 anything is specific you want to ask me yes so you i can answer so this was the process and when you are do, when you are doing meditation some cosmic energy is receiving someone told what is this cosmic energy sir from so, uh, by a, some cosmic energy is receiving in your uh, um, body or self this cosmic See, energy but... will... uh, yes this cosmic energy will give the um, uh, so much power to in your in yourself even though you are taking food you are not sl uh, sleeping uh, your cosmic energy cannot uh, receive but uh, when you are sleeping some cosmic energy receiving your body or self i have doubt that one sir and uh, when you are doing practicing meditation and uh, this one um, from the nature cosmic energy receiving so what is this cosmic energy sir is it correct that the cosmic energy is there or not so bhaiya if we see the consciousness if we see the body and if we see any unit so each unit is interconnected with whole existence yes bhaiya right because there is a coexistence so each unit is interconnected with whole existence so for example body so body is also interconnected with the existence so whatever events are happening it impacts my body also so for example moon and it impacts our body sun it impacts our body so we as a human being are interconnected with this existence and each unit has its own impact and each unit is energized also so cosmic energy means the combined energy whatever is happening in the galaxy whatever happening in this existence each unit is energized active so it has some impact on another unit that's why it has also some impact on my body now if i am in harmony i can feel it if i am not in harmony i am busy inside indulge inside i am trapped inside my thoughts then i am not able to sense it so the whole cosmos whole existence is already running in harmony 
our lady running in a self organized manner and in this self organized manner it is impacting other units also so it is up to us how much i am in harmony so if i am in harmony i am stable inside then i can sense that energy and and for or to be in harmony we are understanding this exercise one so there are many activities going on in this existence so energy is there everywhere and it is up to me where i whether i can sense it or not so once you are stable inside once you are in harmony inside then you can sense other units its impact on you but for that we need to be in harmony first is it right bhaiya okay bhaiya thank you so whenever you will sit peacefully you can sense many things you can sense others uh, unit impacts on your body you can sense you know, the environment <clears throat> because you are a observer you are seer so you can observe it but for that we need to be in harmony okay bhai right then you can see units uh, subtle things in units also subtle activities subtle activities in units also so if i am not in harmony i am not aware of myself then we only see gross level activities with harmony i can see subtle activities subtle energies also so that can be felt if i am in harmony if i am in if i am peaceful inside and for that we we'll done exercise 1 right bhaiya so is that maybe this understanding by continuously attending the classes yes so work on it bhaiya so first be in harmony then you can see you can sense you can sense your coexistence with other units whole cosmos all things will happen naturally okay bhaiya thank you bhaiya right bhai namaste thank so you so six explore yes bhai namaste so is 6 10 so we can have 10 minute observations then i will come back to purvi ji and chandrasekhar bhaiya right so in this 10 minute we will observe the sources of sensation we will observe ourselves we will observe body and we will try to see the sources of sensation so we need to be aware what is the source of sensation then we will share the sources of sensation right so let's take 10 minute pause can take reflection of these 10 minutes <clears throat> so we have purvi ji with us namaste didi namaste bhaiya namaste all of you so i would really like to extend my gratitude to all of you for this kissing i mean on this journey together i mean it is really very enlightening i would say and uh, yes uh, yesterday i could observe bhaiya am i audible properly yes yes didi yes yeah so yesterday i could uh, observe all the four kind of sensations in myself and finally i realized that all this all these years i guess we have all, always focused well we have experienced these uh, four sensations and uh, we have always reacted by keeping the body in center 
So always without fail, I would say we have done th that. And maybe that is the reason probably why we feel that I am body. Because always the focus was body. And after uh, we started these morning sessions and we started looking at ourselves, uh, looking at the self, I would say. So uh, there probably for, for the first time in my life, I would say that uh, I started looking at the self. And it was not body, but self. But now here, uh, I have a slight question, which may be out of the topic, I am not sure. But then uh, the question is that uh, when I am in harmony or in love or maybe acceptance or uh, all those feelings which are naturally accepted to uh, acceptable to me. So, uh, I mean, uh, the question is that when I'm observing myself, I'm observing my thoughts, feelings and expectations. But when I am uh, in the uh, when I am, the feelings are naturally acceptable acceptable to me is that me or when i have the feelings that are not naturally acceptable is that also me i mean how can we describe that so if you can just throw some light on that but yeah thank you so we talked it many times during exercise one Mm. But for you, I will revise it briefly. Yeah, thank you. So as I uh, said that I am a consciousness unit. Body is a material unit. Mm. So many activities are going on in body because unit means activity. Mm. So I am consciousness unit. So consciousness activities are going on in me. So like ex expectation. This is one activity that is going on in me. Mm. Similarly, thought. Another activity that is going on in me. Mm. Similarly, imaging is another activity which is going on in me. Mm. Similarly, contemplation is an another activity. Similarly, understanding is an activity. Realization uh -huh. is an activity. So all these activities are going on in me. Now uh -huh. we need to be aware whether my thoughts, desire, feelings are aligned with the reality or not. Uh -huh. But if you ask who am I? So this bunch of activities is the self. Okay. Now if you ask how can I observe it? So you can observe it. You can observe your sanskar. In fact, you can observe this time just now. If I no. ask you, do you have a feeling of happiness or unhappiness? Can you tell me or not? Yes, I can. So you can, because mm. you can observe it. Mm. Now with this help of exercise one, what we are trying, we are trying to be in a state of pure observer. We are trying mm. to be awakened in the activity of realization. Mm. At that point, I can observe my feeling without getting affected from my sanskar. Mm. Mm. At that point, I can observe my body. At that point, I can observe space. At that point, I can observe coexistence mm. with space. Mm. So that is the point where can I can observe without getting affected of any activity. Mm. So this is what we are trying in exercise one. So who am I? Who am I? So I am consciousness unit with these activities. Okay. Now what I need to do? I need to be in a state of pure observer. Why it is required? Because I want to live a fulfilling life. 
and this mm. state of your observer is a state where I can be unaffected from my sanskar. So mm. I can have mm. a fulfilling life. I can be unaffected from outside activities. I can be unaffected from activities of body if I am at state of pure observer. Mm. So this is what we are doing in exercise one. Yeah. And I am sorry for repeating the question because I've missed it. No problem. Or, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Didi. So we have one minute left. So we can take one more sharing, one more reflection. So we have Kavita Ji with us. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste to all. Uh, Bhaiya, I have a small, I have an observation. I just wanted to share. Uh, we, I'm uh, having a fasting for the past six days. Um, as uh, in the first day of my fasting, I my body uh, showed some reaction. Um, I could, um, I myself has uh, decided that I'm fasting for the next six days or seven days. So in that way, uh, after till afternoon, my body was uh, having some reaction. Maybe it's a hunger. Uh, but after the afternoon, uh, gradually my body has, uh, I felt that my body has adapted to that I am not going to give any food to it. Okay. So, so far, uh, what I was, we were, I was thinking is, if I nourish my body with, uh, nurture my body with uh, three times of food, then only my body can do all its activities. But without uh, food, uh, uh, regular food that we had been taken for all these years, uh, my body has was able to function in a usual manner. Whatever the self is instructing to the body, the body was able to carry it out. And uh, at times uh, when I uh, do excessive work or uh, when I walk for a longer distance uh, during this time, it sweats me a lot. Uh, but uh, I myself uh, think that uh, uh, like uh, I what I observe, right? um, that maybe I'm getting dehydrated. So I need to drink water. So I immediately go and drink water. So is my observation uh, uh, going in the correct uh, way? By and sometimes when I uh, uh, see a tasty food, uh, I myself is determined that I'm not going to take any food. But my body reacts automatically by secreting some salivary, salivary glands uh, so that I will be able to, uh, I mean, I'm. it means that some external source has influenced my body and uh, some sensation is getting uh, trans uh, exchanged. Is my observation, uh, is I, okay, am Didi. I able to explore over here? So it's a, a time for Hindi session, Didi. We can but, continue discuss okay. it tomorrow. Sure, but, but in one line, I I will uh, I will say one line. This will be homework for you. Yes. Sir. Body is reacting or body is responding. That mm -hmm. we need to check. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. So take it as a homework. We can discuss it tomorrow. Sure, bye. Thank yes. you. Thank you. So thank sure. you, everyone. So I request Sunil Bhaiya to start in this session. Namaste, Bhaiya. Ji, namaste, Global Bhaiya. And thank you for this enriching session once again in this morning. Thank you, all the participants, for your active participation with questions and sharing in the morning. Before we switch over to the Hindi part, we can have a look at the chat box for the regular announcements. With regard to the forthcoming international conference, 